Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the uh, music genre tag. So this was created by Cats and Camera, and all the questions and whatnot below. There are a lot of questions to this. So there are 20 questions, and some of them blend books together. So I've made the executive decision not to get all the books from my shelves for this, because it would take me forever. Also, I guess the idea is that you make a few recommendations for each of the music genres. So I'm going to try and do that. Without further ado, let's jump into it. So, question one. Pop, what already established book gang would you love to join? So for me, I'm going for the Wizards of Unseen University in Terry Pratchett's Discworld series. They're not necessarily a, a gang, but they are an entertaining group, mostly of old white males, to be fair. I would probably fit in perfectly. And they like to sit around arguing with each other, eating food, and not really doing anything. So yeah, that'd be good. And my pop recommendation, it has got to be The Cause. Yeah, let's go with The Cause. What a band. Question number two, Punk, a book under 200 pages. So for me, I'm going for Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. I read this all on the flight back from Latvia, and I'm pretty sure it's under 200 pages. If not, let's go for Animal Farm by George Orwell. <laughs> and my punk recommendation, probably Buzzcocks. I've seen them live a few times. Good band. Question number three, pop punk. Transport a character into another book. So for me, I'm thinking Stephen King's The Walking Dude. So from the stand and put him in Alice in Wonderland. Because he's like the ultimate bad guy. He's like the Antichrist. And just think how trippy it would be to actually have like true evil in Alice in Wonderland. It would totally change the uh, style of the book. For my pop punk recommendation, probably gonna be, we'll go for some 41, I think. Question number four, Grime. A book that deals with population hierarchy. For example, upper slash working class. So for me, I'm going for Mark Twain. I think it was Mark Twain. The Prince and the Pauper. You have the prince swaps places with the pauper. And my Grime recommendation, who are we gonna do for Grime? It's gotta be Harry Shotter. Yeah, check out Animal by Harry Shotter. Question number five, R&B. Relationship advice. An established couple who are not compatible. So for me, I went for Desdemona and Othello from Othello by William Shakespeare. They are just not compatible at all, as is shown by the events of the book, really. But also, well, the play, sorry. But also, they're just not compatible. And for R&B, I can't really make a recommendation because... I don't like R&B, which is funny because I don't like relationships and, and romance in books. If I had to recommend an R&B singer, I don't know, like Usher? Usher can sing. Question six, rap. A long book that you flew through. So for me, that's The Talisman by Stephen King and uh, Peter Straub. And the reason I flew through it, it was my book I took with me when I went on holiday to Berlin. And I read it in like the three days. I started reading it in the car on the way to the airport, finished reading it in the car on the way back from the airport. And that was like 800, 900 pages. And for rap, it's got to be Dr. Syntax, one of my favourite rappers. Question number seven, Metal. A misunderstood character who is actually a sweet bean. Controversial opinion here, but I'm going for Maxim de Winter from Daphne de Maurier's Rebecca. And the reason I'm going for Maxim, everyone hates Maxim because of what he does to Mrs. de Winter, the, you know, unnamed main character in the novel. And it is true, he is a right dick to her, right? But... He kind of has his reasons. He's been through some stuff. Actually, by the end of the novel, the two of them go together really well. They kind of almost support each other. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he tries, bless him. He tries. He's just shit at it. Like, all right. And for my metal recommendation, it's got to be Slipknot. If you fly, 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 then you're six, six, six. What's the matter? Question number eight. Melodic Hardcore. A book with beautiful prose. So for me, I went for Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz de Zafon. To prove that there is no hard feelings between me and this book and this author, he does have a very beautiful way of writing. It's just, it gets boring after a certain amount. I'm sorry, he can write, he can write beautiful sentences, but not an entertaining book. That's, that's, that's my take on it. And... I don't know what melodic hardcore really is. Surely Slipknot have their moments. I'm going to say Trivium. I think Trivium have their moments of melodic hardcore. Question number nine. EDM. A colourful cover. 
This totally isn't going to work for you, but mine was Dark Visions by Stephen King, George R.R. R. Martin, and Dan Simmons. It's like all three of them have a story in it, and it's a bit purple and green. Yeah, maybe I should have actually got that one. And EDM. Well, I guess Tiesto. You've got to recommend Tiesto. Question number 10. Country. A book that deals with religion. The God Delusion by Richard Dawkins. Good book. He, retreat, he retweeted my review of that and it gave my book blog the largest spike in traffic it's ever had. Fun fact. And my country music recommendation. Hmm. Maybe Hank Williams the third, but not when he does his weird metal stuff. When he does songs like Stoned and Alone. Question number 11. K-pop slash J-rock. Manga or comic, a book originally written in another language. So I went for Dogtown by Louise Pastore. This is like a middle grade novel, originally written in Latvian, now published in English. And I read it recently and enjoyed it a lot. And for K-pop slash, slash J-rock recommendations, who who was it that did... Maya uh, Nakashu Totsuge Kidan! Uh, it was the Stance Punks. Stance Punks. We're going Stance Punks. Question number 12. Reggae. A book celebrating different cultures and or marginalised characters. So I'm going for like the archetypal one of, you know, book for this answer, which is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I don't know. I think it does certainly celebrate different cultures. A different culture to me anyway, because it celebrates the culture of the South in a way. Um... I think black culture, for example, when we see Calpurnia and the church they go to, and obviously the marginalised characters of people like Boo Radley. And my reggae recommendation... I mean, I know it's boring, but Bob Marley. Bob Marley is the best reggae act. Although, oh, John Holt, actually. We'll go for John Holt as a close second. Question number 13. Death Metal, a dark, disturbing or taboo book. So for me, that is Sylvia Hadfield, Amsterdam Lessons. It's mainly disturbing because it's uh, an erotica novel where the characters are all personalised and have, like, names of people I know. And I'm the main character. I have a threesome in it. And uh, there was one line in it as well. The Guardian to the Gate of Her Quim. Which is just the worst line I've ever heard. Also, <laughs> she, there was something about her strumming her clit. And I'm like, that just makes me think about guitars. And uh, anyway, a death metal recommendation. It's got to be Norwegian death metal. I would probably go Mayhem. Mayhem. Or Burzum. Either of the two. Question number 14. Indie. Two books with similar plots or covers. So for me, it's The Stand by Stephen King and The Passage by Justin Cronin. The difference being The Stand was one of my favourite books and The Passage was pretty much garbage. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 a blasph it's blasphemous to compare the two, but everyone does. So, And uh, for my indie recommendation, I guess I'll recommend myself, Dane Cobain. Three albums on Spotify, check them out. Question number 15. New Metal. A book that uses more than one element in storytelling. So for me, I'm pretty sure this is like every book. I don't know. We'll go for the graveyard book because it uses words and pictures. And it's next to me by Neil Gaiman. And uh, my new metal recommendation, Linkin Park. Go on. Question number 16, acoustic. Strip back a plot into one sentence. So Stephen King, Firestarter pigtailed girl burns stuff and my acoustic recommendation Newton Faulkner actually if you ever see him live he's incredible some of the stuff he does with just an acoustic guitar and his vocals question number 17 emo a book that made you cry or feel all the feels the only book that has ever made me cry is the amber spyglass by Philip Pullman and I don't know if they're necessarily emo but I'll go for armor for sleep I, I hated most emo bands like Panic at the Disco and Fall Out Boy and all those. They, they just bored me. But Armour for Sleep sometimes got called emo and they were good. Question number 18. Unsigned. An indie release or an unknown book? So I would go for Driven by Dane Cobain. And I guess that means I now have to do an indie musician. And that's kind of screwed me over because I, I guess... I don't know. Unsigned and indie are the same in my head. So now I have to do another... Oh, I'll go for Paul Armfield. I think he's unsigned. And uh, he made a great album called Found. Is it Paul Armfield? Yeah, it is. Whatever. We're close enough. Good. All right. Question number 19. Dubstep. Genre bending. A book that is hard to categorize. So me, I've gone for On the Road by Jack Kerouac, mainly because I, I, it's hard to tell whether it's fiction or non-fiction or both. So, yeah. And my dubstep recommendation... 
I mean, I do like Skrillex, but if not, like Borgor maybe. Yeah. Or uh, in general, the Wu Tang Clan. They have like a, an album called like Wu Tang Meets the Indie Culture. Enter the Dubstep, and it's dubstep remixes of all these Wu Tang Clan songs, and it's fucking phenomenal. Question number twenty: Can't be pigeonholed. Switch the genre of a book and explain. So, for example, it says here: uh, Contemporary into a fantasy, horror into a comedy. So I'm going to take Making the Cat Laugh by Lynn Truss and turn it from a memoir into a how-to guidebook because I want to make Biggie laugh. And for the, the music genre there, I guess Tom Waits. There we have it anyway. I, I'm very conscious of the fact that the low battery thing on my camera has been flashing since I started filming this. But anyway, that is the music genre tag. Hopefully it worked out. I think it worked out all right. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I need to tag some people actually, and so I'm just going to do what I normally do, check out in the uh, the recent comments on my videos and pull some people from that. So, I'm going to tag Todd the Librarian, Kirsty's Reviews, Amber Unabridged, Court the Reader, Mad Misanthropy Books, Min Kobayashi, Beards and Books, Sarcasm and Sci-Fi, Richardson Reads, Linda's World of Books, Brushing Bookends, a lot of people in this tag, Bookham Jenner, Ruenzel, Book Your Imagination, Alex Black, Wild Book Garden, Weird Reads, and Bucky Laura. And consider yourself all tagged, and also if you see this and want to do it, please do it. It's uh, an original tag by Cats and Camera. I don't think it went too far because she forgot to tag people in her original video. When you create a tag, tag people, because people don't do tags unless you specifically tag them. So I'm hoping by tagging a lot of people here, it's going to help it take off because it is a good tag. In the meantime, let me know in the comments if you like any of the bands or books I mentioned. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot.